The 10 Most Scandalous and Shocking Facts About Sheldon Adelson Sheldon Adelson, a billionaire mobile and powerful figure in the casino and political worlds, left a significant mark on American business and politics. Known for his massive fortune and influence, Adelson's life was filled with controversies, scandals, and moments that shaped public perception. From his youth to his involvement in global political arenas, here are 10 of the most scandalous and shocking facts about Sheldon Adelson. Fact number 1. Humble Beginnings and Family Life Sheldon Adelson was born on August 4, 1933, into a poor Jewish family in Dorchester, a neighborhood in Boston, Massachusetts. His mother's family was from Ukraine, and his father, Arthur, immigrated to the United States from Lithuania, working as a taxi driver to support the family. Financial struggles were a constant reality in their household. Despite this, Adelson's entrepreneurial spirit emerged early, at the age of 12, he borrowed $200 from his uncle to start selling newspapers. This venture marked the beginning of his long journey toward becoming one of the richest men in the world. After high school, Adelson briefly attended the City College of New York but dropped out to pursue his business ambitions. He also served in the U.S. Army before embarking on his entrepreneurial career. Adelson's personal life was complex. His first marriage to Sandra, with whom he had three children, ended in divorce in 1988, and he faced strained relationships with his children, particularly following the tragic death of his son Mitchell from a drug overdose in 2005. Adelson's second wife, Dr. Miriam Adelson, became not only his life partner but also his trusted ally in philanthropy and political activism. Number 2. The Rise of the Casino King Sheldon Adelson's rise as a major player in the casino world began with his bold acquisition of the Sands Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas in 1988 for $110 million. The move was audacious, but it would not be his most daring. In 1996, Adelson shocked the casino industry by demolishing the iconic Sands to build the Venetian, an opulent $1.5 billion complex modeled after the Italian city of Venice. This gamble paid off handsomely, as the Venetian became one of the most successful resorts on the Las Vegas Strip. Adelson's empire expanded globally, with major ventures in Macau, where he built a series of luxury casinos. Despite the financial success, his Macau operations were plagued by scandals, including allegations of money laundering and prostitution rings. In 2013, Las Vegas Sands, Adelson's company, paid $47.4 million to settle a federal investigation into its money laundering activities, a scandal that tarnished his business reputation. Number 3. Political Powerhouse and Controversy, The Trump Connection Sheldon Adelson was one of the largest political donors in U.S. history, contributing over $200 million to conservative causes, with a particularly controversial relationship with Donald Trump. In the 2016 election, Adelson initially hesitated to support Trump, reportedly considering him too unpredictable. However, when it became clear that Trump was the Republican frontrunner, Adelson shifted and contributed $25 million to Trump's campaign, a move that would shape U.S. politics for years. Their relationship became more scandalous as Trump took office. Adelson was seen as a shadowy figure behind Trump's pro-Israel policies. Notably, it was Adelson's influence that allegedly led to Trump's controversial decision to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem in 2017, a move condemned by many world leaders as inflaming tensions in the Middle East. Adelson, an ardent supporter of Israel, was accused of using his financial backing to drive Trump's policies in ways that aligned with his own geopolitical interests. Critics accused Trump of being bought by Adelson's money, with some even alleging that Adelson had a direct line to the Oval Office. Number 4. Legal Battles and Accusations Adelson's business empire was fraught with legal disputes, the most high-profile being a lawsuit from Steve Jacobs, the former head of his Macau operations. Jacobs, who was fired in 2010, sued Adelson, alleging that he was dismissed for refusing to participate in unethical practices, such as bribing Chinese officials and maintaining connections with organized crime. Adelson vehemently denied the accusations, but the legal battle became a sensational public affair, with shocking revelations about the inner workings of his global empire. Though the case was settled in 2016, the terms remained undisclosed, 
fueling speculation about the potentially damaging details that were kept out of the public eye. Number 5. Adelson and China's Influence Adelson's vast investments in Macau and his connections with Chinese officials led to accusations that he used his business relationships to exert political influence. In 2001, rumors swirled that Adelson had lobbied U.S. politicians to soften their stance on China's human rights abuses in exchange for favorable business conditions in Macau. Though these allegations were never proven, they highlighted the complex and often opaque relationships between international business leaders and political figures. Critics argued that Adelson's involvement with Chinese elites raised concerns about how deeply intertwined his business interests were with foreign political agendas. Number 6. The Battle for Internet Gambling While Adelson's wealth flourished through traditional casinos, he became a staunch opponent of online gambling. In 2011, he founded the Coalition to Stop Internet Gambling, citing concerns about addiction, underage gambling, and exploitation. However, his critics argued that his real motive was protecting his brick-and-mortar casino empire from the growing competition of online platforms. Adelson's lobbying efforts to ban online gambling were significant, with millions of dollars poured into campaigns to influence both federal and state policies. Despite his strong opposition, some states moved ahead with online gambling legalization, leading to political battles over the future of the industry. Number 7. Philanthropy or Public Relations? Adelson's philanthropy was substantial, with over $500 million donated to causes such as medical research, Jewish education, and Israeli advocacy. He and his wife, Miriam, were particularly passionate about Birthright Israel, contributing $180 million to support trips for young Jewish people to visit Israel. Despite these charitable efforts, critics claimed that his philanthropy was often self-serving, aimed at improving his public image and furthering his political influence. His donations to pro-Israel organizations, in particular, were seen as extensions of his broader political agenda, raising questions about the balance between altruism and strategic self-interest in his charitable endeavors. Number 8. A Long Feud with Organized Labor Sheldon Adelson's relationship with labor unions was notoriously hostile. As a vehement opponent of unionization, he fought bitterly against efforts to organize workers at his casinos, especially in Las Vegas. One of the most publicized conflicts occurred in 1999 when the Culinary Workers Union led a strike against the Venetian. Adelson's refusal to negotiate with union leaders made national headlines, and his legal counterattacks, including lawsuits against the union, cemented his reputation as a hardline anti-union businessman. This ongoing feud resulted in protests and accusations of unfair labor practices, casting a shadow over his business operations in the eyes of workers' rights advocates. Number 9. Health Battles and Resilience In 2019, Sheldon Adelson was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a serious form of cancer. Despite his illness, he continued to be active in his business and political endeavors, although his health deteriorated throughout 2020. His death on January 11, 2021, marked the end of an era for the global casino industry. At the time of his passing, Adelson's fortune was estimated to be over $30 billion, solidifying his position as one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. His death raised questions about the future of his casino empire, with his wife Miriam expected to take on a more prominent role in managing both their business and philanthropic ventures. Number 10. The Shadow of Addiction in the Family The most heartbreaking chapter in Adelson's personal life was the loss of his son, Mitchell, to a drug overdose in 2005. Mitchell had struggled with addiction for years, a battle that strained his relationship with his father. After Mitchell's death, Adelson became a vocal advocate for drug rehabilitation programs, donating millions to support addiction treatment centers. While this tragedy led to some of Adelson's most significant philanthropic efforts, it also underscored the personal toll that wealth and success could not mitigate. His family life remained troubled, with ongoing tensions between Adelson and his surviving children, casting a somber shadow over his legacy.